One of the most frequent comments I get when I do a video showing there's no national level housing crash taking place is, what are you talking about? Prices here are plummeting or something to that effect. There's a saying in the real estate industry that all real estate is local. You can have very different price performance in regional markets throughout the country. In this video, we're going to look at the top best and worst performing markets in the country to show how this is true. And then we'll see if there's some commonality between these two groups of markets to suggest why some are doing great and others are not. Let's get into it. <laughs> What we're looking for here are the markets with the largest year-over-year -year price declines and year-over-year -year price increases. I'm going to limit my search to the larger metropolitan markets, those with at least 500 sales per month. The smaller areas can have a lot more volatility in price performance from month to month. Here are the top 10 housing markets with the best price performance. One important thing to notice in this table is that, with a few exceptions, these metropolitan areas have a median price that is below the national average of 409000 in September. In fact, if I take the median price from this list, it is well below the U.S. median price. This is important to keep in mind. I'll explain why in just a bit. Now, let's take a look at the metropolitan areas that are doing the worst in terms of price performance. The prices in these markets come very close to the national average for this most recent month of data, but when we look at them over time, we can see they generally have trended higher than the national average. Here's a graph of the median of these bottom 10 markets, and up until recently, they did trend higher than the national average. Now let's add in the median for the top 10 performing markets, and we start to see how these regional dynamics are affecting the national average price. The worst performing markets are the ones that are holding back the national price, but the top performing markets continue to trend higher, keeping the national average from falling more. What this ultimately comes down to is affordability. The reason we're seeing the best performing markets with a median price lower than the national average is because these markets are just more affordable, whereas the higher priced markets are doing worse. Mortgage rates that continue to head higher are a big problem for affordability. If we look at the average housing payment in the U.S. as a share of median household income, we can see that it is at record high levels and just won't come down. These markets with the best price performance are attracting more buyers because they are more affordable. This isn't to say that this is the case for every market. There are some outliers here and there, even in our top and bottom 10 lists. What are things like in your market? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, I hope you will consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit that notification bell down below so you know right away when my next video come out. I focus on forward-looking real estate analysis on this channel, so if that is your cup of tea, you'll want to see my future videos. And don't forget to hit that like button on your way out to support the channel and help it grow. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.